Hey there, it's Bobby Kane, coming to you straight from Iraq with the latest and greatest updates on the Iraqi dinar. Today, we've got big news making waves again. The deletion of the zeros. What does that mean? How does it connect to redenomination versus revaluation? Don't worry, we're breaking it all down for you. You won't want to miss what's happening next. So, make sure to subscribe to my channel and show your support, hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's get started. In recent months, a term that has been re-emerging in global financial discussions about Iraq is the deletion of the zeros. This phrase has drawn significant attention due to its implications for Iraq's currency reform process and its potential to reshape the value of the Iraqi dinar. But what does this really mean? And how does it relate to the much debated concept of currency revaluation? As Iraq pushes forward with bold economic and financial reforms, the world is paying closer attention, particularly to the developments surrounding the Central Bank of Iraq, the International Monetary Fund, and the Iraqi dinar. Redenomination versus revaluation. Understanding the difference before delving into the specifics of Iraq's currency strategy, it's important to understand the distinction between two key concepts, redenomination and revaluation. These terms are often used interchangeably, but they represent different processes in currency management. Redenomination refers to a change in the nominal value of a country's currency without affecting its actual purchasing power. This typically involves removing zeros from the currency. For instance, in the case of Iraq, Deleting the zeros refers to dropping three zeros from the Iraqi dinar, such that the dinar would be more manageable for everyday transactions and more comparable to international standards. This is purely a cosmetic change that doesn't alter the real value of the currency. Revaluation, on the other hand, is a process where the actual value of the currency increases relative to other currencies. This could happen as a result of economic improvements, inflation control, or shifts in trade dynamics. Revaluation changes the actual worth of the currency, unlike redenomination, which simply makes it easier to handle. In the case of Iraq, the deletion of zeros is a redenomination process. The country is planning to adjust the way the Iraqi dinar appears, reducing the number of zeros on banknotes. However, this does not mean the dinar will immediately become more valuable on the global market. A revaluation, on the other hand, could follow or coincide with such a redenomination, but it is a separate action entirely. IMF's approval. Praise for Iraq's financial reforms The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has been increasingly vocal in its praise of Iraq's financial and banking reforms specifically the monetary transformation led by the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI. For years, the country's economic systems have struggled with issues like high inflation, currency instability, and an over-reliance on oil revenues. The IMF's recognition of Iraq's progress suggests that the country is now on a path to more stable economic conditions. The IMF has been lauding the Iraqi dinar's revaluation, stating that it is happening as part of a broader strategy to reform Iraq's monetary policy. According to IMF reports, the Iraqi government has been taking steps to improve fiscal responsibility, enhance transparency in public spending, and create a more diversified economy. These measures have played a pivotal role in stabilizing the dinar and boosting its prospects for a more favorable exchange rate in the future. On its website, the IMF explicitly mentions that the Iraqi dinar is undergoing a revaluation process, signaling a growing confidence in the country's monetary policy. This is an important development because it underscores the broader regional and global economic recognition of Iraq's reform agenda. Unlike previous years, where Iraq's financial system was often seen as unstable or inefficient, the IMF now actively points to the country's financial restructuring as a model for success. Al-Sadani's bold statements on the dinar's future Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sadani has made headlines recently with his bold statements about the future of the Iraqi dinar. He has expressed a vision for the Iraqi currency to not only regain its former strength but to rise to the status of the highest valued currency in the world. 
According to Al Sadani, the dinar will become stronger than currencies like the Kuwaiti dinar, which currently stands at around $3.25. Al Sadani has emphasized that the redenomination and potential revaluation of the dinar will help restore Iraq's currency to its preeminence in the global financial system. Historically, the Iraqi dinar held a significant value compared to other Middle Eastern currencies, but the ravages of war, sanctions, and mismanagement caused it to lose much of its purchasing power. al Sadani's statements indicate a determination to restore the dinar to a position of strength and global respect. The Prime Minister's remarks align with the ongoing changes in Iraq's economic policy which have been designed to build confidence in the dinar and shift the country away from its dependence on oil exports. While such bold claims might be met with skepticism, the larger trend of financial reform under al Sadani's leadership suggests that these changes could be more than just lofty rhetoric. The role of the Central Bank of Iraq at the heart of Iraq's financial reform efforts is the Central Bank of Iraq. Under the guidance of Governor Ali al-Alaq, the CBI has worked to stabilize the economy by implementing policies that encourage transparency, reduce corruption, and improve the management of currency reserves. One of the central initiatives has been Iraq's push to transition from a cash-based economy to a more modern, digital banking system. The CBI has been critical in managing the process of redenomination. By removing zeros from the Iraqi dinar, the CBI hopes to ease inflationary pressures and encourage greater participation in formal banking systems. This move is expected to make the dinar more practical for day-to-day -day transactions, increase its appeal to investors, and improve the country's overall financial stability. However, it is crucial to note that the redenomination alone will not guarantee an immediate increase in the dinar's value. It is only one part of a larger series of economic reforms aimed at strengthening Iraq's financial standing. The real test will be whether these changes lead to an actual revaluation of the dinar, making it more competitive against global currencies. The bigger picture. Iraq's economic transformation The redenomination of the dinar and the IMF's positive assessment of Iraq's economic reforms are just a few of the steps in Iraq's broader effort to transform its economy. The country is aiming to diversify its economic base, reduce its reliance on oil exports, and increase foreign investment in non-oil sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and technology. With a focus on long-term economic sustainability, Iraq is also working to address issues like corruption, the lack of infrastructure, and a heavy reliance on government spending. If successful, these reforms could pave the way for the Iraqi dinar to become a more respected and stable currency in the global market. While the challenges ahead are significant, the recent moves to delete zeros from the dinar, coupled with the IMF's endorsement of Iraq's financial reforms, suggest that the country is on the right path. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.